Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm Prof. Omar, and today we're gonna investigate an interesting problem about probability. It says you have a bag of 100 marbles, and there's three colors, red, blue, and green ones. Three marbles are selected at random, and asks you to find the values of R, B, and G, the number of red, blue, and green marbles, respectively, so that the probability all three that you chose are different colors is exactly 20%. So take some time, process this problem, and actually give it a try and see what you come up with. All right, so let's revisit. The total number of marbles is 100, so we know that R plus B plus G has to be 100. Now let's work with this probability. You pick three marbles at random, What's the probability that all three are different? Let's say you chose a red marble first. The probability of selecting a red marble is R over 100. Now you have 99 marbles left. The probability of the next one being blue is B over 99. And then the subsequent last one being green is G over 98. So we have the product of these three. However, we could have selected these in a different order, like RB, RGB, or GRB, or GBR. The number of ways we could have done this is six different ways permuting the colors. So the total probability is six times this quantity right over here. And we're given that this is exactly 20% or one fifth. So that would mean this quantity here is one fifth. We can rearrange this expression to get 100 times 99 times 98 times uh, divided by six divided by five. And then prime factorize everything on the numerator and the denominator. <laughs> giving us uh, two copies of two, a copy of three, a copy of five, two copies of seven and an 11. Now we think about it, R, B, and G are whole numbers whose product is precisely this thing here and whose sum is 100. So we're trying to find out ways to clump these numbers together to get a sum of 100. Now here's one thing to notice. If one of the numbers had a two as a factor and another number had a two as a factor, the third one would be odd. So we'd have the sum of an even, an even, and an odd number which wouldn't add up to 100 because that sum subsequently would be odd. So whatever groupings we pick for R, B, and G, we must have the two and the two together. Now you can play around, and one thing that'll work out is if you pick this two times two with the 11, you get 44, which means you need 56 left, and 56 happens to be the sum of 21 and 35. So if we assign 35, 21, and 44 to the colors, we'll get exactly that this probability is 20%. And since we've dictated that there are more red than blue and more blue than green, we can assign 44 red, 35 blue, and 21 green. 